What's going on, bros? All right. So we've all heard you should never buy Chase Pokemon cards the second a set releases. Never buy a Chase Pokemon card when the set first comes out. We've all heard that, right? Because we all we all pretty much know set releases, top Chase cards go for a ton of money. If you buy them right then and there, you are buying at the all-time high. Okay? Done. We've all heard that, right? What's up, Bruce, by the way? I totally forgot to say that. What's up, Bruce? But look, seriously, this is a serious video. We all know the thousands of videos out there. Pokemon card videos, dime a dozen, a million of them, 99% of them, no value, no, nothing you could take away from to throw in your little toolbox to help you save money and stay alive in that Pokemon TCG hobby, okay? This video is not one of them. This video, we take the that known thing I just referenced, never buy Chase Pokemon cards when a set first release, but we keep going. We explain really when you should, more or less, without going too far away, you know? You don't, you don't want to wait a whole year. But let's take a look, very quickly, very in-depth, to the point of how, just how ridiculously much money you can save if you just wait a couple of months, and that's it. Let me give you a quick little preview, okay, here? All right, so, here we go. This is what it's going to look like. This is what we're doing here. Taking the top three chase cards from each Scarlet and Violet era set. We're going to look at their raw price seven days after release. Not, not, we're not going to draw the price like day one because obviously that's way too overinflated, right? This whole video is to be very realistic and very realistically helpful to you. So if you were going to buy these top chase cards from all these new sets that just came out one week after release versus if you waited for for this video, for this study, for these statistics, we're using 90 days. Why are we using 90 days? Because every set that has came out so far, other than Paldean Fates, we can now look at 90 days later. What are these cards worth? And how much money would you save if you simply waited three months? 90 days, and here's what it's going to look like. So, for example, Scarlet and Violet Base Set, release date 331. So we take the top three chase cards, Miriam, Gardevoir, Maridon, and so we add seven days from the release date. So, okay, in this case, it is um, April 7th. You would pay $75 for Miriam on April 7th, whereas if you waited 90 days, you would have paid $53. So we're gonna take the top three from every set, and we're gonna add them all up, and then we're gonna look at the difference. In this case, for base set, you would save Seventy-one dollars. Okay, so why am I doing this video? Blah blah blah. One, because Mimic Brew. The whole point of this channel is to help you stay alive, so you can very comfortably collect Pokemon cards for the rest of your life. Now, why do we need to make videos like this? The amount of people who get into this hobby, whether it's for three months, six months, a year. But they don't develop the strategies, the plan, the financial scenario that works for them that actually makes sense to where they don't end up in a scenario where they burn out. Where they all of a sudden realize, you know what, I guess I really do need money more than cards. And next thing you know, their whole complete collection is on eBay or offer up or somewhere for a huge discount. And that's that. The burnout of people exiting the hobby is generally money related okay my goal as your pokemon tcg guidance counselor is to make sure that money never becomes such an issue that it deters you from collecting pokemon cards all right guys so let's get back to it so again top three chase cards from each set raw price seven days versus 90 days here we go Okay, so, Miriam, Gardevoir, Maridon. I'm going to rush through this one since I already kind of covered one of them. The Miriam SIR on April 7th would cost you $75 versus on June 31st would cost you $53. Gardevoir EX SIR. 
This used to be the third most expensive card in Mariadon. Used to be the second most expensive chase card. That's, and this isn't saying that Gardevoir's done well. This is more expressing how poorly Mariadon has done, how far Mariadon has fallen. But Gardevoir 47 versus 33, Mariadon EX, I love the card, 62 versus three months later, you would pay $27. Now, me and my personal experience, somewhere along that, that spread, two months in, I paid $37 for that Maridon card, and I honestly thought I was getting a deal because I knew it used to be 60 something dollars, right? Well, guess what? If I would have just waited the full 90 days, I could have paid under 30 for the card, okay? So, what that gives us is if we bought these three cards, just these three, by the way, keep in mind, all these stats we're gonna look at, guys, Imagine if I took the top five or the top ten chase cards from every one of these sets and did this. The number that we're going to end at at the end of this, this video here is a big number, but it'd be a much bigger number. This is just based on the top three. So, $184 you would have spent on April 7th for these three cards versus $113 on June 31st. That means by waiting 90 days, you would save $71 dollars bear in mind waiting 90 days sounds boring right there are new pokemon sets that come out every three months so while you're not wasting your money paying top dollars for these cards you could be spending money doing this strategy on the set that came back came out three months ago so just because you're waiting 90 days doesn't mean you're not making other pokemon card purchases this all is a cycle that fits together that helps you save money and helps you, in my case, master set every new set that comes out without overspending like crazy. All right, let's look at Paldea. This is an interesting one. So, Paldea Evolved release date, June 9th, 2023. We got the Iono, the Magikarp, and the Iono, okay? So, on June 16th, if you wanted to buy that beautiful Iono SIR, which a lot of people did, I sold mine for $160 on June 15th, the day before the official release date. So I pulled this card, I sold this card for more than $150, knowing this was going to happen. Anyway, Iono, on 616, you pay $150. 90 days later, on September 9th, you would pay only $96. That's a huge difference. Magikarp IR. 616, you pay $52. On 99, you'd pay $60. This is a card that is doing very well. So, how many cards in the Scarlet and Violet era are doing very well? You can count on less than one hand. How many Scarlet and Violet era cards are there? Like thousands, okay? So Magikarp is definitely an exception to what usually occurs. Iono, full art, 616, June 16th, you would pay about $50 for the card. Wait until September, you'd pay $35 for the card. That means if you bought all three of these cards a week after the set came out, you would pay $251 versus only $191 if you waited the 90 days. You would save $60 just on these three cards, just from Paldea. All right, let's look at the next set. Next set's kind of funny. This next set, there's a reason we call it Obsidian Lames. All right, so Obsidian Lames, Charizard, Charizard, Charizard. That's part of the reason it's Obsidian Lames. Okay. I mean, there are beautiful artworks in this set. It's just not a big set, and the hobby people and the lack of playability of other cards, it boils down to only the Charizards matter, apparently, which is unfortunate. But again, set size matters, and it's a tiny set. Scarlet and Violet, the bigger the set, the more valuable the cards. It's that simple. It's mathematics, sadly. Okay, so Obsidian Flames, released on August 11th. The SIR. You would pay $147 on August 18th. If you wait till November 11th, you are only paying $68 for that Chase Charizard. That is a big old, big, big old, big, 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 big old difference. Holy moly. Now let's look at the Hyper Rare, the Jolly Rancher card as they call it, the gold full art. Hyper Rare. 818, you're paying $68. 
11 11 you're paying $30. Less than half. The Full Art. The Bootleg Hyper Rare. 8 18 47 On 11 11 November 11th, you are paying $23. You would have paid $262 for these three cards if you bought them a week after release. You would pay only $121 if you simply waited 90 days. That is a huge savings, okay? Now, fortunately for us, we have one of the most drastic savings sets you'll ever see, followed by one of the least saving sets you will ever see coming right up. We all know what set that is, because I'm doing this chronologically. Scarlet and Violet, 151. Okay, so guys... Scarlet and Violet 151 released on September 22nd and we have your standard three trio your Kanto trio here starters Charizard Blastoise Venusaur all SIRs as you can see so Charizard on 929 a week after release was $118 and then three months later on December 22nd he was $112 not that bad of a difference Blastoise $51 a week after release 42 in December around Christmas not that bad Venusaur same thing 42 and then 40 basically the same so 211 versus 194 you would save 17 bucks maybe 20 if you tried really hard and timed it right or did auctions point is guys one this never happens I don't know if you knew this I'm just gonna break this I'm just gonna break this to you real quick Scarlet and Violet 151 is potentially the most successful set that the Pokemon company has ever produced in 25 years. Scarlet and Violet 151 performed in a manner at a time when needed to like better than the Pokemon company could have ever imagined, okay? Even the Pokemon company was like, dang, all y'all love this. Like we knew it was gonna bring people back, we didn't know it was gonna bring everybody back. Like, there are people who came back to the hobby for Scarlet and Violet 151. They haven't even bought a single Paradox Rift, Palais and Fates. All they care about, all they keep buying is 151. And to be honest, might not be a bad idea. This set has performed incredibly well, okay? But this is a massive exception. And even with this as part of the results, as one-fifth of the case study, the results at the end of this video are still kind of shocking, all right? Let's go to a set I really enjoy. Paradox Rift. This set I really like a lot. We got the Roaring Moon, the Iron Valiant, the Goldango. Roaring Moon I pulled, Iron Valiant I pulled, Goldango. I'm, I see it in card shops and that's about it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, stopped, I bought a lot of Paradox Rift, but I stopped. All right, so here we go. One week after release on November 10th for Roaring Moon EX, you would pay $113. Whereas just a couple weeks ago, in February 3rd, you would pay only $70. Iron Valiant. This is a card that has fallen very far, all the way to Goldengo. On 11-10, you would pay $57 for Iron Valiant. But just a couple weeks ago, on February 3rd, you would pay only $36. Goldengo, EX, S-I-R. 42 versus 33. That means one week after release, Paradox Rift on November 10th, you would pay $212 for all three of these cards versus on February 3rd, a few weeks ago, you would only pay $139. That means you would save $73 just on these three Paradox Rift cards alone. There's a lot of SIRs in this set, just like same with Paldea. And keep in mind, guys, there's a lot of IRs that you got to collect too if you're master setting or you're into those. So I'm just saying these results in this total you're about to see this is just off three cards three obviously very valuable cards but let's be honest if you're like me if you're like me here, here's what i do i allow myself about 250 300 for a new set when it comes out i spend that money in the first week or two like most everyone else does okay as soon as i hit that kind of cap that's when i switch switch modes okay and whatever i didn't pull that sucks it sucks it sucks for me from this point forward i now have to go out and me personally i go to my local card shop my old yeses and i buy the rest of the cards from the all the reverse hollows i need to all the hits i buy them raw 
and I patronize my local game stores, okay? So, we all know that if you only spend $250, $300, you're going to need way more than just three, you know, you're probably going to need the three top chase cards if you're unlucky, plus like five, 10, 15 other cards, right? And these results apply to all the cards, including all the illustration rares. So anyway, let's get to the total. How much money on these 15 total cards right here that we went through we went let's go back here top three chase cards we had three six nine twelve fifteen okay just these fifteen cards you would save three hundred and sixty two dollars three hundred and sixty two dollars you would save just by just waiting a couple months on these specific cards and bear in mind this isn't just sit around and wait and don't do anything. If you're a degenerate Pokemon card collector, you're always collecting from the last set, from a couple sets ago. All we're doing is buying all these cards. We're just being a little strategic about it. We're just delaying it 90 days and saving a massive percentage off the top, which gives you more money to open up packs and do all the fun stuff when the sets do first come out when you are buying ETBs or booster boxes or whatever else, okay? point is this is a big deal a little bit of patience will save you a ton of money we take the top five from all these sets and that number is 400 something you take the top 10 from it it's probably 450 or whatever okay guys all I'm saying is all Pokemon cards generally crash hard it's just easier to view it that way because the exceptions are very rare and just be happy that the exception happened if you own the exception be very happy if the card never went down in price and you're waiting for it to go down in price well maybe the card really is that valuable and maybe you should pay that price three months later the point is cards that crash crash day one day two day three and then they drip down within the first few months okay so don't go crazy when a set first comes out but this whole rest of this whole video was to add to that this is what you get if you do not go crazy when the first the set first comes out a little bit of patience can save you three hundred and sixty two dollars it's pretty good all right guys that's all i got just want to thank you very much sorry oh i got a winner uh what's his name squamps squamps you are the winner my Valentine's Day uh, Enamorous Gem Min 10 uh, Character Hyper Rare Slab. Squamps. Hit me up on Instagram or TikTok. Screenshot your account, blah, blah, blah. I'll message you, whatever. Squamps, congratulations. You are the winner from my last video. All right, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope that I gave you one more tool to add to your little Pokemon card collecting toolbox to help you save money and stay alive in the Pokemon TCG hobby deuces